make money yeah and influence that way mm. okay one more topic let's go back to talking about body composition do you think from with your experience and your knowledge would you suggest a split based workout program or a full body based workout program is better for body recomposition body recomposition means building muscle while you lose body fat at the same time everybody's goal everybody's goal build muscle <laughs> get lose ripped. body fat yeah so what would you think is the best the best workout style i got the ask this question the other day he's like oh i'm doing a split the splits are good aren't they and i said splits are for pussies <laughs> do a full body full body workout three four days a week and you get so many more benefits uh, you're going to get more muscle stimulus obviously you're working a lot harder so you're going to be mur- burning more calories like if you're just working your back and biceps that's or try i don't know anyway however you work your splits you're just not working that many muscle groups yes you're pushing that muscle group super hard but come on really yeah like how about you push every single muscle in your body three to four times a week now we're talking like now you're getting some good stimulus happening in your body you're telling your body to build muscle because it's stressing your body out in a good way and it's more act you're getting more activity in you're going to be step moving around a whole lot more in your workout it's more activity so more like obviously (laughs) it's not obvious though because i feel like for again yes but these bodybuilders at the moment doing all their splits they're bodybuilders they're athletes exactly but the general public sees that them doing that and they think this is what i need to do usain bolt is probably the best sprinter that i know of Mm -hmm. i don't know any of the new guys but usain bolt snoop dogg (laughs) (laughs) no (laughs) um but usain bolt youtube usain bolt's workout and if you've seen him usain bolt is looks incredible absolutely incredible like ripped mm-hmm. as most 100 meter sprinters are ripped because they're just absolute power and muscle tearing down a runway but you look up his workouts they're boring as hell and all he does is run yeah because like, he's getting good at running yeah and that's what i mean like you if you want to look like usain bolt you wouldn't do his like us mortals wouldn't do his training yeah. because we would just get good at sprinting yeah we wouldn't look like him like you, he's if, also a genetic freak yeah and if you want to look like a bodybuilder you need to go like if you watch the arnie docos on netflix Arna, Arna that was so australian of you <laughs> watch the arnie docos what the heck? but if you go back to when he first started lifting he was doing full body mm. a lot of times yeah. a week and a lot of volume he wasn't doing splits he was doing full body okay. and that's when he first started jack is very passionate about this obviously I came here with some research. Okay, sorry, you go. <laughs> Jesus. It's okay, so a new study had well-trained, so they're already well-trained, men perform a strength training program as either a full body split or a body part split. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. They trained every muscle group either five or one times per week, depending on the split, with the same number of sets. After eight weeks, the full body group lost more fat and gained more lean mass in and strength in squat and bench 1RMs. The full body group had the greatest gains on all measures in absolute terms, even despite being in a lower energy balance. So they were in a lower energy balance because they were full body split. They used more energy. So they were ha- using more energy and still building muscle and losing body fat at the same time. Hmm. Some research also suggests full body routines are more appetite suppressing than split routines. Although this effect again seems to come down to total workout volume. Why do you think that a full body is more appetite suppressing than a split? Um, Yeah, so I come across this the other day as well. So working out actually helps with suppressing your appetite. Mm-hmm. and again you're working every single muscle in your body that signal is going to be bigger than just doing your biceps so that the appetite suppressing signal is going yeah. to be bigger yeah okay so because every single muscle in your body is being worked rather than just one or two muscle groups so the signal is just bigger yeah yeah 
Like, I, I see this in the gym all the time. Like, shout out to Hugo. Hugo's get, been getting great results. Um, he's just a hard gainer, so it's taken him a little bit longer, but he's now, like, his v- body's visibly changed. And I've had him on um, split programs for his whole train, like, s- since he started with me. And you see other guys, you know, so Hugo's been on full body. Yeah. But then you see the other guys in the gym who are on, doing their splits for the same, like, for 12 months. Their body hasn't changed a thing. Like, mm. they think they have, and they sit, stand in the mirror flexing, but their body hasn't changed. Where somebody like Hugo started off well under them, is now almost above them because mm. he's been doing full body. And I'm yet to see their bodies change because they're on splits. Yeah. But yeah, they get a sweet bicep pump, but that doesn't mean anything if your body's not growing muscle. I also feel like it's more time effective. Like if we're talking to the general population right now, 100%. you need a lot more time to go in and do a split workout and a lot more days mm. in the week than if you can easily just get away with doing three full body workouts a week and see physical change in your body, right? Whereas a split, if you miss a day, you miss a whole muscle group, a whole yeah. side, the front, the back, like right, legs. Like legs. You miss a whole area of your body, which is crazy to me because like it's three o'clock right now. I really don't want to go to the gym, but it's probably okay because <laughs> we can just catch up tomorrow. Yeah, you know you're going to be working your legs tomorrow. My whole body tomorrow. Yeah, like your legs are the biggest muscle group, oh, I reckon, in, the, in your body. Mm-hmm. Like if you're thinking about legs is one muscle group, chest is one, and yeah. then back's one, legs are the biggest one. So you want to work that big muscle group as often as possible because that's going to be sending like a muscle building signal, suppressing your hunger signal, mm. burn fat burn signal. Fat, yeah. like, so if you miss that one week, it's almost two weeks without working your legs and without getting that signal. Mm. Of course, you're not going to get great results. Mm. Good topic. Interesting. Full body, everybody. Make sure and it's happening. if you support the podcast, then yep. you can get the best full body workout program that there is. Exactly. The program that we're doing right now. Mm. Good program. And it, it's properly phased, properly written. Um, so you shouldn't just be doing the same exercises three days a week. Yeah. So you should be working your legs three times a week, but it's three different, like three different air, like work exercises mm-hmm. each week. Mm-hmm. To a certain extent. If you're wondering and curious how what that looks like, support the show and you'll get access. <laughs>